just got off the Mobile. I'll let you guys know what's been going on. I know I haven't been on here for about a, what, a week or two. Um, it's just a lot of stuff been going on. Uh, finally, you know, got my mind together to make a video. Um, basically, you know, as you guys know, my situation, that's still going on. Um, I just been trying to find placement mainly for my children. Uh, me and, you know, my kids family been, I ain't, I mean, I'm not going to say falling out, but having a disagreement. So basically their grandmother said that, you know, they'll watch them. Um, but she wind up like changing her mind basically. So, yeah, that's been a situation going on. And a father, you know, um, me and him haven't been communicating very well. So, but uh, moving forward, I've been trying to do, like, little, you know, side work or whatever while I was out of work. Um, and, yeah, just been trying to, you know, keep myself together, keep my head up. Currently, um moving forward fast forward um their grandmother is watching them taking care of them now thank you god she came and sit down and you know had a talk with me and she said that you know it's a lot like i said it's a lot of stuff been going on between me and the kid's father to the point where he like didn't want he didn't even care about his kids he didn't even want to watch them so um so she said you know since we can't communicate and come together you know for the kids or whatever she said she was going to take over and she was just like, as long as long as I can feed my kids, do their hair, wash them up and everything, she got the rest, whatever. By next week, um, she going to transfer their school to her house so they can get off the bus at her house and everything. And that's what's been going on lately. Um, yeah, so tonight is my first day back at work. I'm sitting here at work and waiting to clock in. Kind of nervous because, you know, it's my first day back um, after my injury. Oh, I ain't going to say injury, but, well, yeah, after that car accident. Um, I just talked to some of my coworkers before um, I got here and when I got here. And they were saying how was a lot of changes been made. All of Mostly all of the managers that, you know, was at this building um, is gone now. Um, some of our old coworkers is gone. They said it's a lot of people, new people here, uh, new management here, a new site leader is here, and they said lately things been crazy, we haven't had head count, everything just been messed up, messed up basically. We can no longer play music at the job now, so I guess they're getting stricter on that. Um, so we'll see how tonight goes. Like I said, tonight is my first day back. I'm kind of excited because, you know, I, I'm back at work. I can get a check every week, you know, versus me trying to scramble up some money to still pay my car note and car insurance and bills and stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous because now it's new management, so I gotta start all over again. Um, but I know I'll be all right, you know, just do my job and go home and, uh, yeah, make it do what it do. Um... Yeah, guys. I can honestly say since my kids been living with their grandmother, it's been taking a lot off of me. Because to be honest, just this weekend at pass, today is Wednesday, by the way, just this weekend at pass, I literally um, didn't have no placement for my children, basically. Like, it was to the point where I was going to give my children up. Um, because nobody went and helped me with them or nobody went and, you know, watched them for me. And it's sad to say when you don't have nobody in your corner, you know, people that you had thought that you had don't want to, um, help because of your kids. And that's, that's sad. Um, you know, you would think people would try to help you, you know, since you have four children and it's not like, uh, you know, I burnt bridges with anybody or anything like that. It's not that, um. You know, I'm not a responsible person. It's just, I guess, when you have so many kids, you know, people don't want that responsibility. So, which is understandable. But, um, yeah, you would think family, uh, you know, will be there for you when you're down and, you know, when you need someone to be there for me. But, oh, well. Um, you know, I'm in this current situation right now. 
I'm down right now, but I know God got me and I know that once all of this is over with, um, you know, I'll be in a better place. Um, the kids will be in, you know, in a better place. We all will be in a better place basically once I get myself together, find a place, all of that. So yeah, I just noticed it's temporary and you know, I gotta figure it out. Um I know one of my subscribers had commented on one of my videos and she was just like, um, I basically have to stay away from him and I, I am like, I'm per, but you know, communication, I have to communicate with him sometime, but she's right. I'm starting to see that every time I'm interacting with him in some type of way, something bad always happened to me or, you know, he's basically blo blocking my blessings. So, um, I just hope that his mom, you know, stick to what she say so that way me and him don't have to communicate. Um, yeah, I can just stay away. Like, I'm, I'm trying to just let it go. I just can't wait till I get to that point where I don't need nobody in his family. You know, I can be on my own and my kids will be in school and, you know, daycare and everything. Um, I don't have to depend on nobody. So I can't wait until that day. But I'm going to make the best out of what I got. And, um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, what's been going on. Uh, first day back, guys. I will let you guys know how it went later on. See you later. Bye, guys. Yeah, I'm back at work again. Um, like I honestly say my first day back. Um, I really couldn't handle it. Um, like I, like I said, my back was killing me on my first day. So, um, yeah, I really couldn't handle it my first day back. But, you know, I was thinking and I think I'm going to try to, you know, work it out try to push it on out as much as i can i'm not gonna give up um but it has been cool at work i can honestly say i've been happy at work you know my co-workers and everything making it fun that was new management it's just like they starting to understand people more and um they want everybody to move up who've been here since day one so i think i'm gonna give it a try i'm still thinking about it i don't know um, it depends how I'll, this week go. I'm going to give it one more week to see how my back does because I thought I can do it. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm not in pain. But as soon as I make that one wrong move, you know, I get a sharp pain in my um, back. But I'm going to see. Even if it's me trying to run lines again and do something, you know. Um, yeah, other than that, I had a great Labor Day weekend. I hope everybody had a wonderful labor day weekend i had chilled with some co-workers had a few drinks um had fun with my children and yeah so i hope everybody else had a great labor day weekend um yeah we're about to go in here and stay positive positive vibes only i don't know why it looked like that i'm sorry guys it's like a glare but yeah we'll see how it goes um, I will let you guys know. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just go back to how I was and not give up, you know, put my mind, um, keep my mind focused, basically. Just try to make things right, do things in the right path so I can make money, you know what I mean? So, yeah, now let me go in here, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.